In the sky, a huge, powerful storm was growing. Below, people across the Caribbean prepared for what was coming. People outside, they don't know the danger of this. Leave down here, because down here does not look safe. As we speak today, it will be very difficult for tens of thousands, if not millions of people in Jamaica. Roofs will be tested, floodwater will rise. It's coming, it's coming. Last week, Jamaica was hit by the strongest storm it's seen since records began. Its name, Hurricane Melissa. We are indeed looking at the storm of the century. It made its way from the Atlantic Ocean into the Caribbean, and when it hit Jamaica, it was a Category 5 hurricane, which is the strongest rating that exists. Wind speeds inside the spinning storm reached nearly 300 k's an hour. But it travelled super slowly. I'm talking slower than walking pace. This meant it stuck around for longer, causing more damage. It was terrifying for me and my child. The water level reached me to my waist. As it moved through the Caribbean, it caused a lot of damage. It ripped trees from the ground, roofs off homes and flooded entire towns, leaving hundreds of thousands of homes without any electricity and killing more than 50 people. The waves were very strong. We were on the second floor and the waves reached all the way up. Now hurricanes, typhoons or cyclones, as we call them here in Australia, don't happen everywhere. They tend to affect people who live near the equator, where the Earth is closer to the sun and the weather is warmer and more humid. Why? Well, because hurricanes, like Melissa, use warm water to gain their power. Cyclones only form over warm ocean water, where the surface is above 26.5 degrees. That's when water evaporates and rises up into the sky, causing some big old storm clouds to form. As more warm, humid air gets sucked up, the clouds grow. And the movement of wind caused by the spinning of the Earth can make the storm whip around into a big spiral. The hotter the water, the more powerful they become, which is why experts are worried climate change is only going to make storms like this one more common. Hurricane season happens every year, and unfortunately, they're getting worse. How do we really support these small islands so that um, there are ways to either prevent this or to have systems in place that can make it better? Right now, people across the Caribbean and Central America are still cleaning up the mess that Hurricane Melissa left behind. Lots of people are working together to send supplies and support to people who need it from local volunteer groups to the United Nations. Carrying supplies from the World Food Program, the International Organization for Migration and UNICEF. Meanwhile, many are just happy to see the storm pass and to feel safe again. It's a bit scary, but you know, we got each other, so we're strong.